Hi everyone, Danny Hogger here, and this week I have a very special segment that I want to share with you from a recent interview I did with Jeffrey Friedan. He's an amazing teacher and an author and an inspiring teacher for many across the United States, and I talked to him about my course in diversity and what makes diversity so inspiring just a moment ago on Inspiring Teachers, and here's what he had to say. I'm going to start my second course in my master's degree, taking it online from San Diego Christian College. I might take a snippet of this, and I just wonder... Since you're, uh, you've taught in many different areas and you've taught lots of different students, the course is about diversity and cultural significance in the classroom. And I just wonder if, if that's an element of your teaching and preparation that is significant to the way you approach your role and how important is diversity of students in, in the way you approach teaching? Well, I teach uh, in the particular school that I'm at, at Hillcrest High School in Riverside, California. It's a real diverse area. So I have a lot of different student populations in the class. I wouldn't say, I guess my approach is like, I'm going to respect and honor everyone who's in my class. Uh, it's which has really got, I've gotten to know a lot of different perspectives along the way. So I, I, I don't have like diversity posters or anything like that on my wall, but I will sit down and hear everyone out and hear their story. You know, I did a post, I was right, like right around like November, December called One Week 170 Conversations, where I sat down with each and every one of my students. I sat with, down with them for about five minutes, some of them 10, some of them five. And I heard everyone's story. And that was a mind-blowing like experience for me, where I heard just different perspectives. And because um, I'm trying something a little bit different with the grade book. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit different. It's a lot different. So I'm still, I'm in a traditional school where we're handing out letter grades at quarters and semesters our progress reports, uh, instead of just like, here, you know, like here's an assignment and then put some points on it or put it in the grade book, which is, you know, looks like this giant spreadsheet over time. I kind of just, I didn't throw it out necessarily, but I just kind of said, you know what, we're not going to worry about points. Instead, you're going to do the work and then you're going to come to me with a portfolio of your work and you're going to tell me like what you've done and what you've learned. And through the course of the conversation and based on this criteria that I've set, we are going to negotiate what your your letter grade is. Wow, cool. Yeah, and then as I've gotten to the point where like, all right, I've heard so many different stories that I never would have known. Like the two that stand out are um, like students who, when you look at the grade book, it would say, I, I might say in the past, like this is a lazy student. Look, they're not doing any work. But then when I talk to the student, there's so much going on in their head that they're dealing with um, mm. in other areas of their life. And this person's really, really thoughtful. Right. And I know they're engaging with the course to the extent that they can, but maybe they're not showing up with the work right there. And so when I'm talking with this person, it's like, there, you have so much more to give to this course, but something else is going on in life is out of sync with what we're doing right here. Yeah. And that's taken a lot of your attention. And actually, I think the student even said, like, I have to give a lot of my attentional space or I can't, or my head space to this thing that I'm dealing with. Wow. And they were honest with me about that. And it yeah. was like, well, how can I, you know, how can I sit here and say lazy student based on that? And right. So, Absolutely. And then the other one was like student who like would be getting like, say like a B plus in the class or like mm -hmm. a minus kind of on that line. Sure. And as a teacher, and when I'm looking at 176 students, I'm like, oh, that student's off my radar. That student's doing fine. But then when you talk to that student and she's like, she's stressed out and she's worried about what her classmates think of her and she doesn't feel like she fits in the class. And like, she's just kind of, she's dealing with a lot of, again, like her head, her attentional space is given to these things like social things in the class. And she's really worried about it. But I'm thinking, hey, she's got it all together. But no, that's not the case at all. And so I guess diversity in the sense of like, I am just, I'm really all I'm doing is just paying attention to who they are and their stories more and more. And, and trying to take those things that I normally would cast like sort of a narrative on them out of the way, just get that out of the way and just deal right with the person. So person to person. Fantastic. That's everything in the first week. I feel like you just summed up the whole lecture and the reasoning that looking to the individual student and understanding really what's going on with them. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that that you're doing that. And I think more and more teachers are taking the whole big picture of everything they're experiencing and then evaluating and evaluating with them and not separately, not evaluating yeah. at them, right? But right, with exactly. Them. 
That's pretty cool. Well, that's really excellent wisdom from Jeffrey Friedan. So glad he checked in so that he could share that with us. Later on this week, I'm gonna give you an inside look at what it's like responding to my classmates in real time, thinking through some of the processes and some of the reading and reflections that we're doing. And that will be really interesting, I think, for you to get a sense of what the actual work is like inside the program. For now, this is Danny Hogger saying thanks so much. Pursue your education today by going to sdcc.edu and finding more about their program. They've got a lot of wonderful online and on-campus programs in the San Diego area. Till then, class is dismissed. We'll see you next time.